Hey everyone, it's Sarah and Brett, and we're so excited to tell you all about one of the fastest growing municipalities just east of Toronto. We're a husband and wife real estate team, and we live and work in Durham region, helping busy families get into their first home or into their forever home. So in this series, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into each municipality and telling you everything it has to offer, cool things to do, and maybe some things that you didn't know. So we're gonna talk about affordability, things you need to know before moving here, the lifestyle, and fun things to do. Durham is one of the fastest growing regions in the GTA, and with such a diversity of ways to live in this area, we're confident that we can find a place that you are gonna love. Yep, and to kick things off with this video, we're gonna talk about our three favorite things about Durham region. What's your first favorite thing? I love the waterfront trails. Um, Durham has an abundance of waterfront trails throughout each municipality. So Pickering has a beautiful waterfront trail that actually extends into Ajax. And um, Ajax has my favorite personally uh, waterfront trail. It's absolutely beautiful every time of the year. And then even further east, so you have Whippy, there's the Whippy Yacht Club. Oshawa has a beautiful park, Lakeview Park. Um, there's also a wedding venue right down there so you can get beautiful photos. And Clarington has Port Darlington, which also has a great uh, splash pad and park for the kids. Whoa, that was long. Blah, blah, blah. You know, Ajax is really the gem of the waterfronts in the area. But there's something you need to know. In the summertime, it used to get super busy with tons of people. You couldn't find parking. And now the municipality has actually enacted this parking plan. So you need to make sure you go to the town website and get a permit before showing up or you're gonna get a ticket. Yeah, and what's one other thing that you like about Durham? So uh, one thing I love about Durham is that it's both suburban and rural. Yeah. So I like to do things like hunting, uh, hiking, everything like that. So um, if Durham doesn't have what I need, there you are very close to a place that does. Like you're very close to going to Kawartha or Northumberland or Northumberland. Yeah. Um, but pretty much Durham has everything you need if you're an outdoors person and you like doing that type of stuff. Yeah, I like the outdoors too. Um, but I, my third thing that the third thing that I really like is how each municipality has their own downtown and how unique those downtown areas are. So Whitby has a beautiful- Some are better than others. Some though. are better than others. And three of my favorites are Whitby. So Whitby has a great downtown. There's Brock Street Brewery. There's a ton of restaurants. It's really close to the 401. And then you have Bowmanville, downtown Bowmanville. And there are so many local little shops down there and small businesses, really great restaurants too. And then Port Perry is right by the water on Lake Scugog and you have some cool coffee shops and some um, bakeries and lots of really um, fun little stores there too. So that's what I really like about Durham as well. As well. That's what I really like. <laughs> so that's what I really like about Durham. What about Uxbridge? I haven't been to the Cider Place or that other fancy restaurant. Oh, that, um, I don't know. We're going to discover that stuff yeah. in these videos. Yeah, because we we live more in the east part of Durham region. So we are actually going to be going out and exploring, taking a real deep dive into some of these municipalities. With you. Um, with you. And we hear from clients and friends and family about different things that we need to visit. And there's so much. So we're going to narrow those down and we're going to take you along with us. A lot of people used to say that Durham was boring. There wasn't anything to do. But just look at us. We are a busy family uh, who likes to get out and do things with our son, Jonathan. And we haven't even explored everything in the Durham region yet when it comes to uh, attractions, restaurants and the like. So if you want to follow along with us and learn more about Durham Region, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.